All right, hello everybody. Okay, we're back. Road reflectioning. We're we're reflecting while on the road. That's 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 this thing. Uh, I don't know why I think it's snarky about my own fucking title. Uh, I like the title. <laughs> this is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about why I'm recording my um, uh, why why I'm why I'm gonna be releasing my album. Uh, the way I'm going to be releasing my album. So if you watch the last video that I put out, um, uh, you, you, you would uh, have heard uh, that because of the COVID outbreak, because of the, the this so-called pandemic that we are in, um, all of my album recording dates have been canceled. Now, some of them have been rescheduled, right? The DC and the Williamsport show have been rescheduled, but they're not going to be album recording dates. Uh, th- what they might end up becoming are um, album release dates. I am not sure about that just yet. Uh, but, you know, they're moving to June. They're moving to the end of June. That's kind of been settled. Anyway, uh, Pittsburgh Fringe has been canceled. They might do something different. I have an idea for that. Uh, and the idea is basically if we do an online version of the Fringe Festival... Um, I might uh, write out some of these stories from the road, right? If you if you are a part of my email list, if you subscribe to the email list, uh, you know what the stories from the road are. They are just road stories that I tell. And they're formatted for the email, but I think what I might do if we do the if we do a digital fringe, for Pittsburgh Fringe and if it, you know they figure out how to um, get it behind a paywall or 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 or, 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 or something um, and, to, and, the, and then help out the artist that way then uh, the, I, I have these stories that I'll rewrite and I'll record uh, and turn it into into like a little album and then later in the year maybe I'll release that I don't fucking know uh, I'll probably release it. You guys know I'll probably release it. I don't like hiding things from you guys. Uh, So, the plan for Politely Angry, the album, putting together the album, is is now this. Uh, Being that that this outbreak has um, left me off the road, off touring, which is my primary source of income for uh, three to four weeks... Uh, which means I'll at least be losing about a grand. I, you know, I will be, I will, I will be uh, unable to to be making a grand of income because of that. Um, what I'm going to do is this: I have about six to eight shows that, if memory serves me right, went pretty fucking well. Uh, where I was able to do the show top to bottom and the material was virtually sound and it was where it needed to be. Um, And out of those six to eight shows, I think I know which ones are the best ones uh, to use for what material. So, with that being said, I'm going to, uh, because I'm losing all this money, or I don't really know how to phrase this properly. I apologize if it sounds a little, uh, little, little over the top, a little extreme, you know. But I'm not gonna. I, I, the, the 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 potential of me making this money is gone. It's zero. The potential is now zero. Uh, I'm not going to be making that that kind of money, right? Like it's just out out the door. Um. So because of that. Uh, we're looking at not being able to afford a recording engineer, a mixing engineer. I'm not going to have a video version of it. I do have a video version of the show, but it's from October at the Robin Theater. I might release that. Uh, I might release that. There, there's a bunch of stuff uh, from that show that's not going to make it on the album. So you guys, uh, stay tuned. I'll probably release that as a as a bonus thing that you can uh, you can download or something. I don't know yet. A lot of the plans are still getting worked out. These, you know, so so here, you know, I, I know I talked about this a little bit in the last video, but this is sort of the detailed version of all of it. But 
doing that, right? So six to eight shows, picking a couple of them, and, and it'll kind of be like a compilation show, but it'll be the show, top to bottom, narrative, all of it makes sense. So if you came to see it, you, you, know, you know sort of the order of some of these things. Um, and then maybe a second, uh, second release of it uh, that'll be available online only that, uh, you know, will be uh, a uh, same kind of thing, compilation, but it'll be if something fun happened, right? Oh, somebody said something and I reacted to it and it was, it, we, we kind of created a nice little magic moment there. Uh, so that might be the second one. Not sure. We'll find out. Uh, we'll find out if I have enough to make it and make that the album. Find out. Um, so why am I doing this, right? Because I know some of you are like, Chris, why don't you just wait till this thing is done? And I, you know, you, you have shows coming up in April and May and you're coming to Baltimore and Cincy and Louisville and all these other places, Knoxville, you know, uh, why not, why not take a clean recording of that? Um, here's why. Uh, I'm ready to uh, put this show to bed. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's time to, 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 you know, say... I'm good with this show. I, I like the material. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I hate this material, right? But what I don't think a lot of people know, there, there's a select handful of you that follow my work that, that know this, uh, is, um, you know, really the show is built out of chaos. That's how the show came about. The whole show was built in, 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 a, in a pit of chaos. Uh, so, Empathy on Sale, I recorded in 2019. And after that show, I lost my voice. Uh, not like I lost my voice comedically. I literally couldn't talk. Uh, I strained my vocal cords. And, uh, and, you know, I had to cancel some shows. I had to reschedule them. Um, and then I went on my honeymoon. And I came back. And we had a, a crazy situation at, at our house where we had a mouse infestation in our house. And, you know, like, basically no one had really taken care of it. Uh, so we kind of had to go and do the offensive we were jet lagged, we were exhausted, uh, and we didn't feel comfortable in our home anymore. So um, it had been a month that we had been on the honeymoon, and I had not really performed stand-up at all. I think I did one set. So then I had this gig in Williamsport. Williamsport and, and Bedford, Pennsylvania. Those were the two places that I um, had a gig. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what the fuck I was going to do. Just we're dealing with this mouse situation. We're fighting a bunch because we're stressed out. We're tired. And, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do. And so I got to Williamsport and I thought about what I was going to, what material I was going to do. And I had a bunch of this backlog material and I had all this stuff that I was thinking about from, it, from, from the trip, you know, the trip from India. And I thought, well, let's go ahead and release that material. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just do that material. Um, so Williamsport, this is the first time that I have completely stopped doing one show and written a whole brand new show. And so I did that show. It was the first time that I ever performed it. So that's why I wanted to record it in Williamsport. Now that's not to say that this opportunity will not come again. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, 
But that's how the show started. Out of stress and chaos, I found this little niche and I kept building on it, right? And and when I got to Pittsburgh Fringe, I was about three weeks into the show and I figured out something about the closer uh, and, you know, uh, I still hadn't figured out exactly what the fuck the show was going to be about. I kept doing it, went on this tour, um, you know, went into the Midwest, spring of last year, my car started, my car is dying, car's dying, it's going into limp mode, you know, fucking transmission is, uh, going nuts, I don't know what the fuck to do. So I get to Minneapolis and I do the longest version of this show. It's about 90 minutes. And I get off stage and I remember thinking, because I listened back to that set, and I remember thinking, boy, I think I wrote two different shows here again. Because I did that with Empathy on Sale, too. At the very beginning, it was very clearly two very different shows. Um, so I said, okay, I got to I gotta pick a thing here and, and go with it. So I did. And I started kind of working out of, um, you know, a lot of the anti-war material that I had, and there's a bevy of it. There's a bevy of it. Uh, I decided, let's shelve it. This is a different show. So then the show really started becoming about um, competition and how we compete with each other. Um, And a little bit, uh, the uh, themes of classism were in there as well. Some of these stories had. And I eventually got to a point where I had to make another cut. And the cut that I made was um, in regards to the Founding Fathers and how American classism and Indian classism relate to each other. Shelved that. That will return. Uh, But all this stuff will return because I think I know what the next show is going to be. Maybe I'll I'll talk about that a little bit later as well if I remember to. Um, But in the midst of all of this, as I'm trying to figure out this show, uh, there are fights, there are just bad times happening in my personal life, Uh, so more and more chaos. Uh, You know, the the home situation was getting more and more unstable, and eventually at the end of 2019, um, you know, I, I decided a divorce was necessary. Uh, that this was not a way that I wanted to live my life. That was the decision that I made. And I'm not going to go into the personal, specific details of what it was. That's the decision that I made. And, and so the divorce is happening. And, um, you know, very stressful period of my life. Um, a lot of uncertainty about where things were going to go. Had to move back in with my parents, uh, which super fucking sucked. Uh, not entirely it's fine but it's not you know like you don't want to live with your parents in your 30s uh, it's not it's not the greatest uh, there's a lot of like my, I think my mom just forgets that I'm an adult and she's like oh you just don't know how to eat food so let me show you and it's like nah I, oh, it's fine like I know how to eat food like I know how to eat food uh, but you know so it's just when, 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 you're, when you're accustomed to living independently and then you have to go into the situation where you can't um, because you have more obligations, financially speaking, um, it makes things a lot more stressful. And, you know, throughout the end of the show, there is the large stress of the divorce talking about paperwork lawyers you know 
cost of the lawyer. All of that stuff. So there's a lot of chaos in my personal life um, that has surrounded the show. And as, as the people that have probably watched the show know, um, there aren't stories about my ex-wife, but there are stories involving her. So as much as I do believe that these stories are important, uh, otherwise I wouldn't have been doing them on stage for as long as I was, they do still bear um, you know, some, some tumultuous personal thoughts and, uh, and feelings behind them. So part of the reason why I'm like, I want to get this done is because I'm, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to build a clean slate here. I'm ready to come at it from a fresh perspective. Mentally speaking, I think I'm in, an, I'm in a different space. I'm in a better space. Uh, I, I, I do think that I'm in a little bit more of a creative space. But now that we're dealing with, with the COVID, it's even ending in chaos, right? So the whole show is kind of bookended with chaos, with a, just a, a, a gooey chaos center. And I do appreciate all the people that came out to see these shows. I do. Um, but it was a difficult show to do. It really was. If you want my honest opinion, uh, uh, if you want, you know, like a little bit of brutal honesty behind it, uh, just in semantics of how to address, uh, the, the divorce situation without making it the, 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 the core point of the conversation, um, but you know it does affect things, and uh, and so I'm I'm ready to be I'm ready to be done, and um, you know I do have an idea of what the next show is going to be, uh, so you know I have this three weeks four weeks of time off before I kick into the next in next anything really, uh, and um, I might do I might do the show again, politely angry. Some version of it, maybe. Once or twice. But for the most part, I am very much ready to uh, write a new show. And, you know, I think it's going to really involve the nature of classism and American imperialism. It's sort of the, the, the direction that my head is going in. And I also have that backlog of material that involves that sort of stuff. So that'll kind of involve some kind of a rewrite. Um, and now, you know, I, I can I can definitely say that uh, for a week, at least at least one week, maybe maybe two, booking and promoting stuff is going to be uh, it's going to be a little difficult. I think things are just too up in the air for people to make some sort of concrete decision and planning. Um, so there's some difficulty involved in that. Some booking and promo or backlog, to say the least. So that gives me a lot more time to write and a lot more time to create content. And I'm going to focus on that. Uh, I have some updates for the website. I have some previews and things of that sort that I am putting together that I will be concentrating my efforts on. Um, so so work-wise, that's that's where I'm going. I'm going more into the creative direction of, of things uh, for, for a little bit. The next show is going to be heavily leaning on that, so I'll probably start writing that. Um, and, uh, and maybe, uh, maybe you know, if, if, if the opportunity arises and if the, if the mood strikes, I can go to an open mic and actually do work it out before heading back into tour. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if the open mics will be going on. But And the open mics are always kind of difficult for me only because I, uh, I write these long essayistic pieces that kind of fit interlocking interlockingly with each other you know so 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 the 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 uh, uh the former fits with the earlier they all you know it's one holistic piece it's difficult to do open mics with that kind of stuff in mind 
Um, but you know, if I'm just working out ideas, I might be able to. I might be able to uh, make it work. Make you, you know, go in and and, uh, and take care of it. That's sort of my plan right now. But that's why I have to record this album now. That's why I'm planning on releasing it, or not recording it. Well, the recording dates are gone. Uh, but editing it together, putting it together with the shows that you know have have done pretty well. Why I'm why I need to release this album is because you know um, I need a fresh start. I'm ready for it, um, and I think uh, I think now is the time. Um, you know I'm I'm I'm. I feel good about the material. Feel good about where the material is going, and the and the topics that I've addressed in it. Um, and I do think it's time to to uh, to, to put it out there. Uh, some of the clips that will probably be released from uh, from this album, you know, because if you followed my work, I always release uh, video clips, and usually the video clips are from um, you know uh, live events, live gigs. That I do. Uh, usually, one of one of the recording shows ends up becoming the clips on the YouTube's and the Facebooks. Uh, well, the only video recording I have of the show uh, is from the Robin Theater, which is an incredibly phenomenal venue, and I really, really fucking love it. And uh, but that was from October. Uh, most of the front half of the show had some minor tweaks since October not significant tweaks minor tweaks so you know it'll it'll kind of be slightly different than what is going to end up on the album I think um, but yeah that's why I'm, I'm doing it I need a little bit of uh, peace of mind from this show and I think uh, I think releasing it the way that it's going to be released and kind of just being mellow about about that is is basically uh, where where we're gonna have to be on there. So um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think that's that's the video. Uh, like I said, more videos will be coming. I'm probably gonna do a lot more content stuff. Um, keep an eye out more forkfuls uh definitely i think i'm definitely going to be able to hammer some forkfuls out <laughs> uh i've been working on this piece about the black panthers for a while uh i've got an income disparity piece uh talking dem exit uh maybe the income disparity and the dem exit will go together uh, there's something called the white papers that, that i think is is, is interesting that's kind of related to the patriot act um, so I think we'll probably end up having about six or seven weeks worth of forkfuls of forkful of noodles coming out, uh, soon, soon. Dabu Table Talks, I'll be doing a couple of these road reflections, probably, uh, it, not on the road, obviously, I won't be driving to do any gigs, unfortunately. Uh, but I will be doing these, uh, periodically as well, um, but, uh, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're liked. Um, and if you can, uh, look, touring is my livelihood, and at, at this point, the livelihood is put into halt. Um, I would really, if you if you have the opportunity to to make a donation, um, there's various ways you can do that. Uh, go to my website to make a direct donation on my website alone, ramanoodlescomedy.com. That's R A M A N Noodlescomedy. Dot com. That's a direct way to make a donation and become a sustaining member on my website. Uh, another way is by becoming a, a, a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, that uh, has a lot of details about what rewards and goals you're, you're, you're helping achieve. Um, uh, Bandcamp also has a sustaining membership option. Uh, ramen noodles comedy dot bandcamp dot com it's r a m a n noodles comedy dot bandcamp dot com um, that uh, that gives you collections of unreleased stand up comedy material um, so uh, and then you know I have a PayPal donation as well uh, there's a Venmo Cash App um, soon what's going to happen is I'm going to consolidate all of these things into one page on my website. 
uh, and just kind of give you that link to follow. <laughs> That's the goal right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. I, I, I appreciate it. Um, share these around. Keep an eye out for when this album is going to come out. I'm thinking sometime in the summer. Uh, sometime in the summer. So keep an eye out for it. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll hopefully, hopefully in the near future, we'll see you on the road, folks. All right, stay safe, everybody.